I'm not really feeling this, but anyways, today's video, I'm playing around with a brand new C Color Cosmetics Diamond Palette. This is a beautiful, metallic-y, shimmer, satin-esque type of formula. I can't for the life of me figure out what is a dupe for. It is a $10 palette, but you can get it for $9 with my coupon code. I did pair this simple look with the C Color Cosmetics Soft Natural Palette, so if you are curious how I created this look, then let's Let's go ahead and jump right in okay guys we are jumping into sorry I have the best daily harvest zucchini pumpkin seed dates avocado cacao pea protein sounds disgusting but it tastes like chocolate pudding or devil's food cake and I'm like <laughs> how are you healthy okay anywho let's jump into this review so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I have primed my lids with my Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas eye base and I am gonna go into my C color cosmetics soft natural palette I am gonna go ahead and set my eye with this bone shade and then as we see in this palette everything in here is a shimmer or satin-esque type of shade so all of these shades over here are very like shimmery creamy almost metallic and up here these are just like a soft shimmer almost like a satin type of finish so there aren't any mattes in here so for me even though like you could probably create a beautiful look with this palette only i need to have a little bit more depth and a little bit more mattes and things so i'm just gonna go ahead and stick with this palette right here again by c color cosmetics it's insanely affordable they did tell me that they did have to increase their prices on some of the palettes by like a dollar because of the pandemic i'm not gonna yell at them for that because they're still insanely affordable palettes and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this muted nice taupey I guess kind of shade beigey shade and I'm just going to apply that in the crease I'm gonna go for more of like a semi-natural type of look and then do a little bit of a pop of color with the diamond palette Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit deeper of a shade up here in the corner. I'm going to just apply a little bit of that in the outer portion of the eye in the crease. Okay, so diving right into this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I'll insert a swatch of and or a picture of the swatches that I did over on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, you definitely should because I did swatch this palette for you guys. And there's actually I put it in my story as well, so you could see how beautiful. So I So I do want to kind of keep with like the natural feel of everything I have used. There's again, I'll post the picture up here for you guys, but I use this flash shade in that picture you guys see and absolutely gorgeous, just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to pick up a little bit of the shade. Let's go in with the shade ring, which is this pretty like peachy type of satiny shimmer just so you, just so you guys can see the formula very pretty formula really soft on the lid just want you guys to see how pretty and soft and when I say satin-esque it's got a slight shimmer but it's not like as metallic this is like a very soft subtle type of shade absolutely gorgeous so I am going to go in with the shade carrot and I am going to put that in my inner corner and then up by my brow bone and again you can see absolutely beautiful you get that like pop but not it's not like crazy dramatic isn't that I just love this formula nine dollars guys for this palette 
think I, I almost want to use that color as a highlight. Ooh, that would be so pretty. I already have my Natasha Denone on my cheeks, but anyways, let's go ahead and I do want to do a little bit more of the shimmers, but I am going to go in with the shade Glitz real quick. And I'm going to just kind of pop it right into the center of my lid for a little bit more of a dramatic look. And you can see just using this brush, which this is a Sonia G Worker Pro brush, it picks it up and places it on perfectly. So you don't have to worry about kneading your finger. I mean, you could apply it with the finger, but I like to get to see how it applies with a brush as well. So as we see, it applies beautifully with a brush. So I do kind of want to add a little bit of color here. I don't want to go too over the top, but I think it would be pretty to add just a little bit underneath the eye. So what I'm going to go in with is, let's see here. I'm going to go in with my BK Beauty 204 brush, and I want to just go into this shade Shining. And I know what you're probably thinking, Rhonda, how, what are you doing? Trust me on this, guys. I want to go a little bit with this brush really close to the lash line underneath, and I'm just going to kind of press it right in there, not going all the way over, just like halfway point. So I have a little bit of added color to this look, just real pretty, like almost like a muted olive color I guess it's really pretty absolutely beautiful I love this BK Beauty 204 brush because it is packed it's densely packed so it will apply everything like very precise precisely to where you want it very, very pretty. I do have a 10% off coupon code. It's not an affiliate code, but it will save you 10% on all BK Beauty brushes. It's just Hot Mess 10. And I have been loving these brushes. Okay, so as far as that goes, now I want to add a little bit of that to the top. Here I'm like, oh no, I'm going to go really natural. Who's she? I don't know. So I am going to go in with that shining shade just a little bit along the lash line up top. Sticking with my BK Beauty 204 brush. And I'm just going to drag the shade along the outer portion or the outer part of my lash line. Almost like I'm creating a... Um, What's that called? A eyeliner effect? And fancy? Not her. Don't know her. And then I'm just kind of flicking it out a little bit to kind of give it a soft blown out effect. This brush is just perfect for this. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to add my liner, my mascara, and my lipstick, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back with everything as far as what is on my lips. I have my Jarred Cosmetics Sugar and Spice, and then I have Buttercup All Over, and then Kimchi Doll Lipstick by Jarred Cosmetics right in the center. As far as my mascara goes, it's the Urban Decay Lash Freak. That is it. No primer, no nothing. It is two coats worth of this amazing mascara. I absolutely love it. Urban Decay sent it over and I can't stop using it. So anyways, like I said, this is a $9 palette or $9. Yeah, that's it. So like I said, this is a $9 palette. If you do use my code HOTMESS10 and you can use that code repeatedly over and over and over again. I think this is a really pretty complimentary palette to any other type of neutral palette that you may have if you're looking for really pretty shimmers, pops of colors, whatever it may be. Like I said, I will insert again the picture that I posted over on Instagram. I had used some of my Makeup Geek new shadows in that picture you're seeing. I had used the blue and the green in here and then I had used some of the neutral shades and then the teal shade in the Raw Beauty Christie Times Pure palette. The shade down here, I had used that with my Makeup Geek and then I had put the flash right on top and it was just absolutely beautiful. And the way that these formulas wear 
perfect longevity is definitely there it's C color cosmetics so I know a lot of you guys have also purchased C color cosmetics so feel free to leave a testimony down below I really like their formula I'm pretty excited with these like pops of shimmer and shades and it kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay let me pull it real quick I don't know what it was called um, but it was a holiday palette by Urban Decay where it was a lot of the shimmers I the awkward design it reminds me of this but I don't think it is in fact that and one of you guys had said well maybe it's like the Urban Decay um, Moonstone but again they don't have all of the shades you know what I'm saying so I don't know it's really weird to show but it's kind of similar to the Urban Decay but I don't know because this was the only one I could come up with that was an all shimmer type of palette so it's very similar to the Urban Decay holiday palette I think this is 2017 yes I know um, I don't care I save things I'm a makeup hoarder collector whatever you want to call it anyways guys if you are interested in picking up this palette it is available at ccolorcosmetics.com it does have a retail value of ten dollars but like I said you can get it for nine dollars with my code hot mess 10 and you can also pick up the soft natural palette to pair it together as well there's a ton of palettes and I just want to tell you guys there is another palette coming your way very soon from C Color Cosmetics. I will be doing a video on this one. I'm not going to open it up because I'm not for sure yet if they're showing it. So I, I don't want to take their thunder, but just knew there's another palette coming and there's more videos coming very, very soon. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give me a big thumbs up. I would love for you to stick around, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I'm uploading over here all the time and I do have a second channel hot mess mama vlogs where I upload <laughs> well some weeks it's very consistent other weeks it's like what yeah that's where we're at in life so follow me over on Instagram hot mess mama of four I post unboxings of PR that I do receive as well as different looks such as the one you guys would have seen with the makeup geek pure palette all of that so anyways friends until next time as always I hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from Kentucky Mwah! Bye!